Stop the killings. It is a powerful message in a desperate situation. Children are dying at the hands of other children, and it's happening on an almost daily basis here in Nashville. All new at 10 tonight, News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall heard from those caught in the crossfire now working to find a solution. People gather at the Kingdom Cafe to talk about how they have been affected by youth violence. They say the number of killings, especially in our community this week alone, need to stop. Our voice has to be heard. We've heard the saying, actions speak louder than words. At Kingdom Cafe, folks sought to find positive actions and ideas they hope can curb youth violence. One bullet hit my leg. It cut through my femur bone. But for some survival victims, finding those solutions are not easy. I don't know. I really don't. Howard Jones put on the event. He encourages teens to not be negative towards one another. It's been over 50 killings in this community, and a couple of them have been my former students. So we want to pull the kids together and began to pray and began to pursue peace. Yesterday, a drug deal led to the shooting and killing of 18-year-old Ahmed Osborne. Rose Anderson knew Osborne. I'm looking at the news yesterday and had no idea that the person was even related to me. I didn't know about it until like about 11 o'clock last night, but it still hurts just the same. My kid's uh, little brother was killed a couple of weeks ago. So the violence has to stop. The pain remains for both ladies who believe change can happen. If you look in the mirror and uh, Look at yourself and love yourself. You can pick up a gun and kill somebody. They hope finding a solution, no matter how small, can change one person. A few of us can turn the world right side up. The group plans on meeting sometime next month to organize a March for Peace. In Nashville tonight, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.